Have you ever felt the deep discomfort when you're alone, as if the silence in your mind is so heavy that your lungs can barely breathe? It's an unsettling feeling, as if every thought echoes in an empty space, bringing up fears and insecurities you'd rather leave buried. Looking around, it's easy to feel like life is passing by, while you wonder if you truly belong anywhere. But what if I told you that this solitude can be an invitation to a profound encounter with yourself, a space where, instead of feeling lost, you can rediscover who you are? Imagine for a moment that you're sitting in a quiet place, maybe on a sunny morning, listening to the sound of the wind rustling through the leaves. It's in this silence that we start to hear not just what's around us, but also what's within us. Stoicism teaches us that peace doesn't depend on the presence of others, but on the connection we manage to establish with our inner self. In today's conversation, I want you to understand seven lessons that reveal the beauty of living alone. Each one is like a light that can guide us through the shadows of solitude. By confronting our fears and insecurities, we have the chance to cultivate an inner strength that cannot be shaken. After all, the journey of self-discovery is a gift we can give ourselves, and I invite you to embark on this quest for inner peace, where every step is an affirmation that you are enough, and that solitude is not something negative, but, in fact, something positive. Lesson 1. Embrace solitude as an old friend. The feeling of being isolated when you live alone is something we've all experienced at some point. It's hard not to feel the weight of that loneliness, isn't it? Often, it catches us off guard, like a shadow that follows us even when we're surrounded by people. This solitude can be unsettling, even painful. But have you ever stopped to think that even in this dark place, there might be light, a space where we find an unexpected opportunity to reconnect with the world around us? We live in an age where connection is just a tap away. But ironically, many of us feel more disconnected than ever. The hectic life, Endless commitments and routine can create a deep sense of loneliness, even when we're surrounded by friends and family. You could be sitting in your living room, with laughter and voices around, and still feel alone. That's normal, and it's okay. There's no need to feel guilty or ashamed about it. Think of a simple moment, like having a cup of coffee in the morning. The morning sun streams through the window, filling the space with soft light. You smell the fresh aroma of the coffee, and for an instant, everything seems still. It's in these small moments that we find the true beauty of life, the warmth of the sun on your skin, the song of birds outside, the gentle coolness of the fresh air. These details remind us that life is happening all around us, even when we feel alone. Solitude doesn't have to be seen as emptiness. Instead, it can become a sacred space for self-discovery an opportunity to reflect on who we are, what we really want, and how we feel. And if you're someone who feels more comfortable surrounded by family and friends, that's absolutely wonderful. Cherish every moment with them. Human connection is a source of joy, and the shared laughter, the memories built, and the hugs given have an unparalleled power. It's natural to want to be with those we love, and that doesn't lessen the importance of the moments we spend alone. These moments of solitude are essential for us to understand ourselves better, to truly get to know who we are, so that when we're with the people we love, we can be our most authentic selves. We can share our discoveries, our insecurities, and our joys. Life is a dance between two states, solitude and companionship. Think of a writer facing creative block. They decide to isolate themselves for a while away from the noise, to reflect and find new inspirations. This time spent in solitude isn't a punishment, it's a gift, a fertile space where creativity can bloom. Just like that writer, when we take time for ourselves, we create an environment where introspection and self-discovery can thrive. Solitude transforms into a period of growth and deep understanding, where silence is no longer a burden, but becomes a space of potential and connection. Remember, even in the loneliest moments, we are all part of a larger human network. We are intertwined in a rich tapestry of experiences and emotions. If you're hearing these words right now, know that you are not alone. 
There is a community around you, also seeking knowledge. I encourage you to engage and share your reflections in the comments. Leave your mark. Being alone brings me peace. Allow yourself to feel and share these moments of connection, whether in solitude or in the company of those you love. Life is precious, and there is beauty in every breath. Lesson 2. Seek what moves your soul. Let's talk about something deep and transformative. Solitude is often associated with feelings of isolation and sadness. But what if I told you that solitude can become an incredible opportunity to turn your dreams into tangible goals? Imagine a scene. You're at a loud party, surrounded by people who are having fun, but somehow you feel disconnected. Has this ever happened to you? In moments like these, solitude can become a chance to reflect on what really matters. Sometimes, being alone can be far more rewarding than the excitement around you. In the quiet hours, our inner voice becomes clear and strong, allowing us to understand what we truly want in life. Have you ever found yourself doing things just because everyone around you is doing them? Like watching a TV show everyone talks about, but you're not really interested in, or attending a social event that doesn't bring you any joy. These examples show how following the crowd can take us away from our most authentic dreams. Taking time for ourselves creates a sacred space for reflection. A practical example. Instead of going out with friends every weekend, how about reserving a few hours for a hobby you love? It could be drawing, cooking a new recipe, or even starting that book you've always wanted to read. These moments not only fill your time but also nourish your soul. When we are alone, we find the clarity that allows us to plan and act. Think about the last time you had a quiet moment, whether during a walk in nature or while enjoying a peaceful cup of coffee. By reducing distractions like social media or superficial conversations, you create internal space for concentration and determination. You can start thinking about your goals more concretely. For example, if you've always dreamed of starting a business, solitude can be the perfect time to sketch out your action plan, list the steps you need to take, and set realistic deadlines. This is the power of solitude, transforming distant dreams into real projects. But how can we make the most of these moments of solitude without feeling lonely? The secret lies in changing our perception. Being alone is not the same as feeling lonely. It's an opportunity for self-awareness. You can start meditating, practicing gratitude, or keeping a journal. These habits can help you connect with yourself on a deeper level. Imagine finding joy in the small things, reading the good book, exploring a hobby, or simply being quiet with yourself. Each of these moments brings you closer to achieving your dreams. The path to reaching your goals may sometimes feel lonely, but it is never empty. It is filled with self-discovery, strength, and in the end, the realization that within you lies immense power to turn your desires into reality. Remember, this journey is not just about reaching the final destination, but about discovering who we truly are along the way. For example, if you're feeling lost in your career, this solitude could be the perfect moment to explore new options. You might discover hidden passions or talents you've never had the chance to develop. Solitude can teach us to look within and find beauty in our own company. It's an invitation to explore the depths of our soul, face our fears and insecurities, and embrace every part of ourselves. Just like an artist who finds inspiration in their solitude, you too can find new paths for your life. So allow yourself to feel, reflect, and dream. You are stronger and more capable than you think. Your journey is unique and full of possibilities. By embracing this opportunity to connect with yourself, you'll let solitude become a space of growth and transformation. Each moment of introspection is a chance to become the person you've always wanted to be, aligning your actions with your true desires and discovering the power that resides within you. Solitude can be the fertile ground where your ideas and dreams grow. In the end, it is in solitude that you will truly flourish. So the next time you feel alone, Remember that you are actually in good company, your own. Have you ever found yourself, in moments of introspection, wanting to create something that truly reflects your emotions? Maybe a poem that expresses your feelings, 
a garden that blooms with your hopes, a melody that resonates with your soul, or even a plan to achieve your financial dreams. Creating is a deep and transformative act, like an intimate conversation with the deepest parts of who you are. Every project you start builds a bridge between your inner world and the reality around you. Your hands, mind, and heart become the tools of your own story. When was the last time you truly listened to your own thoughts? Sometimes they can be the loudest visitors. How do you welcome them? Take time to reflect on them. Choose the ones that strengthen you and let go of those that no longer serve you. This process is like sculpting your mindset, much like an artist shapes clay. When you face a creative block, don't see it as a dead end, but as an opportunity for growth, a chance to flourish in your own company. Keep painting the picture of your life, but do so with confidence, ensuring that every stroke is intentional and filled with purpose without being clouded by doubt. Being alone doesn't mean being empty. It's a space that you can fill with your determination, dreams, and passions. Creating in solitude isn't just about the final result, but about the journey of self-discovery. Through creation, you learn patience, resilience, and the pure joy of bringing something new to life. So why not start that project that's been living in your mind, or allow yourself to explore a new hobby that sparks your creative spirit? Remember, the curiosity you nurture today could grow into something surprising. In the pursuit of personal growth, remember that creation isn't a luxury, but an essential part of the dialogue you have with yourself. What you discover in these moments of solitude is the true essence of who you are, revealing itself and ready to contribute another chapter to the vast story of life. And when silence settles in, know that it's in this space where you can find yourself Discover your strength and find peace. After all, solitude, when well understood and embraced, can be a powerful ally in your journey of self-knowledge and personal fulfillment. Allow yourself to feel all of this and see the beauty in being truly at peace with who you are. Lesson 4. Challenge the way you see solitude. Have you ever found yourself trying to escape your own presence in a constant search for something to fill the silence that can feel overwhelming? This feeling of restlessness is something many of us face, especially in this digital age where we're always connected, but paradoxically, often feel more alone than ever amidst a whirlwind of notifications and updates. Solitude can appear as a daunting challenge, bringing with it a disconcerting sense of emptiness. However, learning to embrace solitude can be a true art, an art that transforms our perspective on life. Imagine a moment when you find yourself alone, without the company of friends or the constant noise of social media. At first glance, this might seem oppressive, a discomforting pause in your routine. But instead of desperately seeking distractions, whether it's a movie, a game, or a quick chat on your phone, you can choose to view this solitude as a precious opportunity to explore who you really are. Mastering the ability to be alone without relying on external distractions or the validation of others can profoundly change your inner world. It's like giving yourself a valuable gift, the chance to confront parts of yourself that we often try to avoid. Think about the insecurities you carry, the fears that trouble you, and the secret desires you keep locked away. Imagine someone who, instead of getting lost in activities, chooses a moment of reflection a pause to listen to their own heart. This moment of solitude can be a gateway to a new understanding. By sitting in silence, free from external pressures, you can discover your true desires and goals. How would it feel to look inward and really understand what drives you? Solitude then becomes a space for deep introspection where you can honestly and sincerely evaluate yourself. This new way of viewing solitude can be enhanced by practices like meditation and reflective writing. Meditation is a way to observe our thoughts and emotions gently, without judgment. Imagine yourself sitting in silence, focused on your breathing, gradually realizing that those worries and fears don't define who you are. They are just passing clouds that can be seen and let go. And as for reflective writing, when you take the time to record your thoughts and feelings, you create a safe space to explore your experiences, 
This isn't just an intellectual exercise. It's a way to organize and give voice to your perceptions. Deep thoughts often remain hidden when writing, but you can discover truths about yourself that are buried beneath the surface of your daily life. Ask yourself, when was the last time you allowed yourself to truly question how you feel without settling for a superficial answer like, I'm fine? The practice of introspection and writing can reveal aspects of your life you may not have considered before. Facing moments of solitude with courage is not just a challenge, it's an opportunity for internal transformation, one that can be immeasurable. When we welcome solitude with a positive and open attitude, we strengthen our ability to face adversity. We learn to stay firm and centered even when the world around us is chaotic. This inner resilience allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with more confidence and serenity. Solitude invites us to explore the depths of our being, understanding the forces that shape our reactions and behaviors. In silence, we find true autonomy and the freedom to choose how to live, change, and grow. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, there is no place more peaceful or quiet than one's own soul. So I invite you to explore this secret refuge within yourself. Embrace the discomfort of solitude, not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity for growth and transformation. By opening yourself up to your own company, you may find a strength and serenity you've been searching for in all the wrong places. When solitude is understood and embraced, it becomes a powerful ally in your journey of self-discovery and personal fulfillment. In the quiet moments of your own presence, may you find the beauty of being truly at peace with yourself. During times of loss, when we feel the absence of a loved one, solitude can seem unbearable. However, it is precisely during these periods of deep mourning that solitude can transform into a space of healing and self-discovery. Instead of sinking into despair, you can use solitude as an opportunity to reflect on your own journey, honoring the memory of what was lost, and seeking new meaning in life. By allowing yourself to feel and process the pain, solitude can become a bridge to rebuild your inner strength and connect more deeply with yourself and others. Even in the darkest hours, it can reveal itself as an ally, helping you grow and find peace after loss. After all, it is in stillness that we find the space for transformation, and in solitude, the opportunity for rebirth. Lesson C. Explore the true essence of life. There's an old saying, Nature doesn't hurry, but everything gets done in its own time. Have you ever stopped to reflect on that? Sometimes it feels like the world around us is a mess, that the noise of life is deafening, and all we want is a moment of solitude. But in the midst of all the hustle, how can we truly take advantage of this time alone? Being alone doesn't have to mean loneliness or boredom. Instead, see it as an invitation to explore nature and reconnect with yourself. Imagine going for a walk in a local park or on a nature trail. The fresh air, the smell of damp earth after rain, and the birdsong create the perfect setting for reflection. This journey of solitude is not an escape from life, but a search for understanding and inner peace. What if you let the simplicity of nature guide you? Think for a moment. When was the last time you really stopped to observe the delicate shapes of a leaf, the texture of tree bark, or the graceful flight of a bird? These small details often go unnoticed in the rush of daily life. But nature, with its quiet wisdom, has much to teach us about the art of being present. By focusing on these subtleties, you begin to notice the beauty of the moment, helping to calm your mind and heart. It is in these moments of tranquility and introspection that you can hear your inner voice more clearly. Start with something simple, like a solitary walk in the park. Allow yourself to notice what comes up when your thoughts are free to flow. How do you feel in that solitude? This practice isn't about isolation, but about creating a space where you can flourish in your own company. For example, while walking, 
Try to pause and close your eyes for a few moments. Focus on the sounds around you, the whisper of the wind, the rustle of leaves. How does that make you feel? You might feel a wave of peace or even a relief from daily worries. This is your moment to reconnect with yourself, away from the distractions of everyday life. Remember the stoic philosophy that tells us true tranquility comes from within, not from the world around us. So face the challenge of seeing solitude not as an obstacle, but as a chance for growth. Stoicism teaches us to find contentment amid difficulties and discover that we are stronger than we think. Ask yourself, what skills might you have neglected? What aspects of yourself could you explore and improve while connecting with nature? Maybe you've always wanted to learn to play a musical instrument but never had the time. Now, while enjoying a moment alone, you can start practicing a few notes. Or perhaps you've always wanted to keep a journal. Grab a notebook and start jotting down your thoughts and feelings. This introspection isn't just about self-development. It's an invitation to learn that everything you need is already inside you, waiting to be discovered. Embrace these moments of solitude. They have the power to reveal the beauty within you, to shed light on what's hidden, and to offer a new perspective on life. Each step you take on this journey is an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. For example, when you look at the majestic trees around you, think about how they have grown strong and sturdy, even in the face of storms. Just like them, you too have the resilience to face challenges and emerge stronger. Solitude, then, can be a friend, not an enemy. It invites us to explore not only the outer world, but also our inner world. Each walk, each moment of reflection, brings us closer to our true essence. Instead of fearing solitude, celebrate it as a chance to reconnect with yourself, to rediscover forgotten passions, and to cultivate inner peace. So, the next time life feels chaotic and you feel the need for some time alone, know that it's a gift. Allow yourself to enjoy that solitude as a moment of self-discovery and transformation. At the end of the journey, you won't just find a place to listen to yourself. You'll also discover a new path to your own growth and happiness.